Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about starting industry as a small corporation. This is actually a video request by a viewer. He sent me a mail with some questions about uh, trying to do that in EVE Online. And um, while I can't uh, always honor requests, if I get questions like that, I do try to give you guys an answer uh, when you request a video. And this one, I think, is something that I can answer. And uh, I'm going to give you guys my perspective on how I would get started as a tiny corporation. I would say one to five players uh, that is relatively new to the game and that doesn't have any real resources available, but has the ambition to become an industrial corporation in EVE Online. What would I do? What were, would my goals be? And how would I try to achieve that? Some of those things, including, uh, I think there was also a request for the actual industry mechanics. But let's start with the first thing. Um, before you get started, you of course need a goal. What is it that you're going to need in order to establish yourself as an industrial corporation? And it's really not all that much. I would say what you want is a Raitaru, uh, which is the industry focused uh, structure. You can see that with all the industry that's obviously going on uh, inside the, uh, the, the uh, manufacturing capabilities of this Raitaru. This costs a couple hundred million. It's definitely doable if you get four or five active guys. Uh, the service that you want up and running on that, if I take control of that and show you the fitting, is this one, stand-up manufacturing uh, plant one. And with that, you can start your industry if you want. So I would definitely say that this, plus of course the ships that you need, which is going to depend on the activities that you enjoy. It can be uh, mining ships, exploration ships, maybe some mission ships and a couple of transport ships. That is your first goal. Build that up and uh, make that. Where would you do that? That's actually really important. It's something that we have done uh, in a very safe place. It's actually in Iona, uh, which is a 0.8 high six system in Galente space. And we did that mostly from the Creodron factory there, an NPC station. Uh, why there? Well, 0.8, which means that Concord reacts very quickly. So you're uh, not 100% safe, but definitely safer from gangs uh, and NPC stations. So nobody can touch anything that you build up in there. This will basically allow you to, let's say, uh, keep 99% of your efforts uh, and, uh, and, and use all of that in order to actually build up towards, as I've said, the right taru the services and the fittings that you want for that and the ships that you want. Once you've done all of that, you of course need to decide on where you want to deploy that right there. I'd say you'd need to mostly think about do we want to be close to a trade hub and be able to sell lots of stuff quickly but at a bit uh, uh, at a worse margin or far away from the trade hubs. Uh, then we need to, do, to uh, analyze the local markets a little bit and potentially need to wait a longer time to be able to sell the goods that we produce. Uh, I think that those are basically the two extremes and in between those two, of course, uh, anything is possible. You can decide to go a little bit further away from the trade hubs to try and get a better margin or uh, exactly the opposite. You can try to get a little bit closer to a trade hub to try and sell more stuff more quickly. But really the location is very important. Uh, I chose the tal, which by the way, uh, all of these structures are remaining as well. If you absolutely don't want the NPC tax or anything like that for your build-up location, you could come right here to my structures in detail. All of them are open to the public. Feel free to use all of the services. Feel free to use the resources in detail to try and build up until you're ready to uh, strike out on your own, you could say. Uh, but I absolutely loved detail. Although it is a 0.5 system, there is a bit more risk uh, for you to... Um, to get ganked right next door there is nalsec potentially a great market for pvp ship on the other side couple jumps out there is faction warfare low sec again potentially a great market for pvp ships uh, and it's not that far away from amar which is the trade hub let's see here it's only nine jumps away from amar so even if i'm i'm in a hurry to lo uh, to find some resources or to unload some of the stuff that i make it's only nine jumps out that's not all too difficult uh, to actually do. Now, another question was uh, the uh, actual mechanics. So 
I can't of course show you guys another deployment at this point. I'm going to deploy a refinery on the moon pretty soon, but it's really not that difficult, right? Put it in a transport ship, go to your location, right click, deploy for a corporation, wait 24 hours for it to be anchored and ready. Then add your services, add your fuels, add all the fittings that you want. And there you go, you've got your structure, your base of operation. It's up and running. You, of course, then need to follow the, uh, the Industry 101 video that I made. And you'll want to gather up some blueprints, gather up some resources and start producing the stuff that you want. For instance, if we want to make some rapid light missile launcher once, you know, potentially there might be some PvP fits that use this up. Here, it's very simple. Put your resources and the blueprint in the same either item hanger or corporation hanger. And uh, then double click on it. You come in the industry window. This is really all you need to learn about. Here is the input 11,644 ISK in minerals. Here is the output 31,700 estimated price for rapid light missile launcher. That's a nice margin on this. So I can decide on the number of runs. Let's say that I want to make five of them. Oh, don't have enough pyrite for that. So we'll just make three of them. Um, you've got a, a job cost, 500 disc here in my own structure, so really not all that much. And it takes 41 minutes for me to produce that. So all I have to do is press start. And there we go. My rapid light missile launchers are in construction. Then I'll need to find the right market to sell them at. And there we go. That's how you basically do industry in a nutshell. Uh, earn money, invest in more blueprints, and that way you can grow. Uh, your final goal, I would say, if, like me, uh, you are doing uh, or are planning to do your own mining, especially, I would say, and if you're newer players, uh, would be, of course, to establish yourself in HiSec, get maybe uh, your industry uh, services and your research services running. Um, potentially, you only need one right arrow for that, but you could split it up in two right arrows if you want the, the different rigs and all of that good stuff. Um, eventually you might want a reprocessing facility so that is definitely a way that you can you can build up right i've got uh two right arrows an astra hus and then up here i also have a refinery up and running right you could consider that to be your final goal uh, another goal that you should definitely look into is if you're planning to do a lot of mining try to reach the orca uh, that does mean that you have to be Omega, of course, but you want a couple of Omega characters for industry anyways. So try to go for the Orca, very hard to gank, very good yield. And uh, I feel like that's the go-to mining ship for Heisek, your final goal, if you also want to mine on the side. If you're doing other activities, of course, uh, you could go for exploration, then try to uh, try to, to get the best possible exploration ships as well. Try to eke out some more efficiency in your ISK making so you can reinvest all of that into building up to all the services, um, building up your blueprint original library, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah, it really depends on how you want to earn your income in the game. You've got all options still. And uh, you can definitely decide, of course, on your location, depending on your favorite activities. If you like to actually mission, of course, set up somewhere where there's some level four mission agents, for instance. And I like uh, exploration. So in my ship hangar, I've got uh, a Cerberus, I've got um, a Confessor, I've got the other Jackdaw. And I also normally have a Gila in there, so I have plenty of options to do exploration. I've got some resource warships, I've got some PvP ships, uh, I've got transport ships as well. So I've got everything here up and running. That's how you want to build up eventually. And at this point, uh, if you have the Orca, if you've got all the services you want and you've got all the ships that make you is, there you go, you're established. You are an industry corporation. Uh, in EVE Online and I think it's very very doable especially if you've got three four five active players uh, that, that can come online practically every single day this feels like definitely a path that you could take even if you are very new to the game uh, another question I was asked is PI so you've got planets of course and PI should you do that I would say in your first base where uh, presumably in an NPC station you're trying to build up 
towards your first structure and then you try to break out to your final location i wouldn't bother with pi there but once you establish your own structure absolutely start doing pi if you get two or three guys that can run five or six planets you're going to cover the cost of your fuels uh, just through your pi and it is very passive all you need is a good transport ship in order to be able to bring that stuff to the market so pi absolutely it's something that you want to do as well uh, another question was uh, security status, so 0 0.5 to 0 0.7, 0 0.8. The big difference, of course, is um, that in a 0 0.8, 0 0.9 system, Concord is going to respond more quickly to a gank. It makes it a little bit less likely. Uh, but once you deploy your own structure, uh, the real risk, in my opinion, is a war deck. And then 0 0.5, 0 0.6 or 0 0.8, it really doesn't matter anymore. So I wouldn't worry too much about that within HiSec. Now, when it comes to other spaces, low sec and null sec, sorry guys, that's not for the small players. You absolutely want to join a bigger group for that. Uh, if you want to establish yourself as an industry uh, uh, corporation in EVE Online in those types of spaces, that's, that's another step up that I haven't tried and experienced myself just yet. And uh, I absolutely don't think that you, you want to risk that on your own. Uh, but... There was also the question wormhole space and that is a pretty damn interesting one uh, i do want to mention that it's a potential alternative to the high sick mining care bear route that i've just described here for small corporations uh, it is wormhole space absolutely that is a possibility that is an option but you want all omega characters and you want to have a decent amount of skill points i would say be able to fly a battleship and be able to use tech 2 fittings uh, across the board for everything for tanks for weapons and everything and then you could do something that i have actually done years ago when it was a post system rather than the current structure system uh, you can try to strike out at first if we're talking one to five people try for a c1 wormhole so you can start up the exact same way find an npc station in a safe place where you can do your favorite activities build up your preparations to eventually break out into a wormhole use that time to find the right c1 wormhole that uh, your corporation might want to inhabit so preferably an abandoned one of course so you don't have to actually start off with lots of pvp fighting or anything like that and in those preparations you do want some extra stuff of course you'll want an alt that's covered up capable so that you can always uh, find an exit regardless of what happens uh, you'll want some wormhole capable ships so we're talking cover dops a couple of exploration ships probably a couple of stealth bombers you want some ships that are uh, able to run the pve combat sites there because they're big money makers so i would advise uh, a battle cruiser with take two fittings something like a gnosis or a myrmidon are very good for those types of sites you need to have all of that stuff ready and then when that's done and you find your c1 wormhole of course you go in there you deploy the structure you bring all your stuff in there and rather than have to go the care bear mining route uh, you can then start to do the wormhole activities combat sites relic data sites earn is there then bring resources from outside back in your wormhole and i would say it's a very cool uh, industrial goal there to build your own battleships in there because if you get some dominixes and your four or five active guys you can definitely handle most or a lot of the invaders that tend to come in because they can only come in in cruisers and battle cruisers and it's going to be very hard to go up against those bigger battleships and something like a dominix can also do the pve sites in there very very actively it's a very fun alternative um, it's not for alpha clones sorry it is not for new players because you want some skill points and some knowledge about eve online but i myself for instance eventually built a carrier in that c1 wormhole and then i sold the whole operation at a profit that was an incredible experience lots of fun and it was it was basically doing a completely different side of eve online exploring wormhole space having some pvp risk we also went after people in our cell bombers and things like that and then using all of those profits to industry within that wormhole and work your way up uh, a quick note on the pi there as well if you get four or five active guys you can definitely blow away the pocos set up your own and that becomes a very big source of income as well uh, pi in wormhole space can be a lot more lucrative than in uh, in high sec it's it's definitely the more ambitious alternative but it absolutely exists and uh, i think if that's what you want to do 
um, you can definitely try to go for that it's it's a very fun experience with with drawbacks right there is lots more risk you're gonna lose ships you're gonna get crushed from time to time as well uh, no matter what you do don't uh, forget the golden rule in eve online don't fly and don't deploy what you can't afford to lose if you keep, stick to that rule and uh, if you if you have the ambition to become an industrial um, corporation you can absolutely do so in the sandbox even for new players even for tiny groups even for a single player this is my operation here to write Tarus and Astros and a, uh, a refinery up and running it's basically a one-man operation and uh, that's how I build it up so I hope that that answers the questions about starting out in industry as a small corporation hope it helps uh, newer players find their way in EVE Online Thank you very much for watching guys and as always, I'll see you next time.